the inside story the inside story on the teachers negotiations with government on 17th april 2024 so the question that many are asking is what was the reason for the government negotiation team not able to meet the teacher unions over the previous weeks so for some reasons the teacher unions are unable to answer these questions but seekersnewsgh.com was able to probe further to get the inside story on what exactly is happening so here we go with the title no extra allowance the inside story on teachers negotiations full details the teacher unions convened with the national labor commission nlc today on april 17 2024 the meeting included representative from the government making it a tripartite discussion Prior to this, teachers had initiated a strike following unsuccessful attempts to secure approval for their newly drafted collective agreement and address this, their demands. Eventually, the union had to, had to call off the strike due to pressure from both the government and the National Labor Commission. One of the directives from the National Labor Commission Commission mandated negotiations with the government regarding certain monetary demands. And the monetary demands included continuous professional allowance, utility subsidy allowance, rent or housing allowance, assessment allowance, and deprived area allowance. Initially, the government team had adjourned the meeting to meet with the Ministry of Finance to obtain a mandate for negotiation for negotiating the allowance demands. And this was the first meeting after or when the strike was called off. Subse subsequent meeting, which was scheduled for 15th April and 16th April, were postponed by the government team, citing a lack of mandate to address the allowance demands. However, following the National Labor Commission's directive, both parties convened on April 17, 2022, for. Despite initial reluctance, the government was compelled to discuss. According to an inside source, the government cited IMF conditionalities as prohibiting any increase in allowance. Instead, they proposed increase, increasing the continuous professional development allowance. The National Labor Commission, NLC, and the teacher unions rejected its outright. Anticipating this outcome, the teacher unions had issued a prior warning that on 15th April 2024 not to be blamed for any action taken. They saw where this was heading. The two-week adjournment aimed to prompt the government to reconsider its stance. The teacher unions remained steadfast in their commitment to their members' welfare. Despite criticism, of their strategy not to communicate confirm unconfirmed negotiations as potentially detrimental labor practice the union leaders find themselves somewhat constrained in their response filling the blank by re-listening to the messages the teacher unions were echoing earlier what do you think should teachers back down because of IMF conditionalities? Remember, some other others were given allowances with effective date of 1st January 2024, and some items are even priced in US dollars. Well, it is not good to compare your salary or what you want with other groups, but we are just saying. The next meeting between the teacher unions and the government mediated by the, will be mediated by the National Labor Commission and is scheduled for May 2nd, 2024, with hopes that there will be favorable resolution. But before then, the National Lab, the 
National Labor Commission has instructed that the teacher unions and the government meet and do their discussions, make an agreement before the 2nd May 2024. This is an inside story. You will not see this anywhere. You will not hear this anywhere. This is CKS News GH. If you have not subscribed to this channel, then you are missing a lot. Kindly subscribe to this our channel as we bring you more information. This is an inside story. It is the inside story. You won't find it anywhere. You may deny it as many times as you want, but the truth will always come out. Read through. Listen again to their comments. Nobody is giving you any reason why government is not saying anything. Teacher union can also say anything because nothing has been said. Not even a 1% has been agreed on, so union leaders can't say anything. Government can't say anything. And this is the reason. This is the reason. Because of IMF conditionalities, because of IMS, IMF conditionalities, the government says they will be unable to add any extra allowance, but are proposing to increase the continuous professional development allowance. Something that government can afford. But with these two weeks that has been given for renegotiations, we believe that the government team will see the IMF, the finance ministry, and confirm or get the mandate that, okay, teachers, you have suffered enough. You are suffering in the country. We have given people rent allowance. We have given people sitting allowance. We are giving people dollars. And so, teachers, you can also take this small allowance, 10-10% to quench your tests. Subscribe.